bro. Oh my days. It's easy. Fight your javelin. A lot of the time, you won't. Okay, we got the shot off. That might get a kill. A lot of the time, you won't get your shot off, but a lot of the time, you will. And you'll get... <laughs> God, bro, I'm nasty. All right, what's going on, guys? But today, I'm finally bringing you the video that a lot of people have been asking for, especially in this game with how difficult it is, and it's how to get Damascus fast in Modern Warfare. You guys know, finally, I've got Damascus, and since then, a lot of people have been asking me, yo, how do you get it so quick? So I got it in five in-game days. Wow! And with these tips right here, you could probably get it faster than me, and especially with how the game's set up now, let's just say that you guys that are starting now will definitely be able to get Damascus a lot quicker than those of you guys that started earlier on but yo before we do get into any of that i'm not sure if you guys know but i finally started on instagram i finally made my page on instagram man flipping braddies will be linked in the description or you can just type it in and actually i just did my first post on there as well so what i want you guys to do is go over there follow me over on there and like my post come on now flipping braddies will be linked in the description as well or just type it in go like my post and go follow me over on there real quick go run the likes up real quick man come on also if this video does help you out and you do go on to enjoy then definitely drop a like on this video real quick i would appreciate it. and of course if you are new around here as well subscribe to the channel you already know what to do so what i've done is i've split them up into different categories just to make it a little bit easier for me to talk about and for you guys to follow as well so we've got obviously a bunch of different weapon types right here what i've done is i've created my own categories just because a lot of them require the same challenges and require the same tips so there's no need for me to talk about you know different weapon types when they both require the same thing so i've grouped the assault rifles smgs and lmgs together because they all require pretty much the same thing and the same ideas then i've got the shotguns in a separate one we've got the marksman rifles and snipers together of course then we've got the two melee weapons the riot shield and the combat knife in like one category and then we'll obviously we've got separate the launches and the handguns so i'm pretty sure we've got six different categories to go through the assault rifles smgs and lmgs then we've got the marksman rifles and snipers we've got the shotgun on the own. we've got the melee weapons we've got the launches and then we've got the uh pistols <laughs> all right lads i'm gonna be talking while i was playing just because i didn't want it to be boring we're starting off with the first category which is the assault rifles smgs and lmgs now the reason why i said at the start of the video is that if you're starting now to go for damascus you'll probably have it in a faster time than people that started you know towards the beginning the reason for that is they've now added the shoot the ship playlist which involves shipment and shoot house which are two really really small maps and especially this one this is the one that you want to be playing shipment really really small map which allows you to get a lot of kills pretty quick level up your weapon really quick as well like you don't really have to force it when i say force it i mean you don't have to like force spawns to get a lot of kills you literally just have to like look you just have to open your eyes you will get a lot of kills so you want to hop into this initially for all those weapon types you want to get your weapon ranked up that's usually the most annoying part especially for your assault rifles because those take the most amount of levels to get to max level to unlock the schools camos which are the final camos things like 70 around 70 levels with assault rifles which is the most annoying part like i said that, that will probably take the longest not because assault rifles are difficult just because of how many levels there are that's the annoying part about them that's the only annoying thing about them everything else is pretty simple because obviously uh we got the m4 we got the file we got all these like easy weapons to use that they shouldn't be difficult to complete but that's probably why they added more levels to each of them so yeah initially your main goal is to rank it up rank it up as much as possible i would say though what i would usually do is get to the topo camo i don't know what level that is exactly that is the uh, mount kills that's what that is once you get the topo camo unlocked then you've got the headshot camos unlocked you've got the standard kills obviously the first ones you've got the mounted kills you've got the you've got the crouch kills as well i believe there's one more i could be missing one you got the crouch because then you got the hip fire kills as well so you've got all five of those unlocks that you can actually focus on that's why i usually get to topo and then i'm focusing on challenges at that point i'm focusing on the getting the camos done rather than just focusing on getting my level up so yeah get topo unlocked and then start focusing on them. you want to start with like crouching then you want to do the hip fire kills then you want to do the mounted kills i wouldn't really focus on the headshot ones till last just because they kind of happen naturally for the most part so you don't really need to focus on those literally just get the crouch kills done crouch kills easy as hell look easy as hell you just walk around crouch as soon as you think you're near someone and you're probably going to get them done pretty easily. You don't really need to force crouch kills. They're not too difficult. So I don't really need to tell you about that. Hip fire kills. I would go into the attachments real quick. Once I've got all the crouch ones done, I would throw on uh, a laser. The 5MW laser because that adds the most hip fire accuracy, which is what you need when it comes to, I don't know, just getting hip fire kills and your sprint to fire speeds a lot quicker as well. So let me switch to that real quick. Put that on. Let me take off, I don't know, fully loaded or something. I don't, it don't really matter. And then your hip fire kills are just going to be really easy. Just run around getting hip fire kills. Of course, it's like really, really. Look at that. You see how easy it is? 
It's really not a challenge. Like, I'm telling you, with shipment, it's not difficult at all. But then you've got the crouch kills, the headshots will come naturally, you've got the hip fire kills, but then you've got to get the mounted kills. Now, for me personally, what I did, which wasn't the fastest method in my opinion, I did ground war. But of course, when I was doing an assault rifle, shipment wasn't it here. But even then, I don't know if shipment's the best map for mountain. You can get some mount kills here and there, which is cool. But to get the fastest rate, what I've discovered is you can put on this thing. You can put on the deployable cover and a mount on that. How insane is that? That's probably the best tip I'm going to give you throughout this whole video. You put on the field upgrade for the uh, little wall thing and you can mount on that, which means you can create your own little mount spot wherever you want. You could look at a spawn. I could probably have not put it in the best place. But you can literally just watch a spawn with your little deployable cover and then get your mount kills done from that. Rather than just mounting a load of random things, you can mount on a little wall that you choose exactly where it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. It's actually mad how easy it becomes. Look at this. I'm just getting mount kills with my own little wall that I've created. How insane is that bro of course the wall's destroyable but that doesn't really matter you can just put down another one because you get it back pretty quick you destroyed it you destroyed the my if you can't really do the amount of kills on this map, which you should be able to, this is like the fastest way to do it. But if you don't want to do this, you want to play some ground war, maybe. Yo, 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 yo. What's happening, my man? You subscribe to me. Yeah, yeah, love that, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Love that. Alright, so yeah, bear in mind this is for assault rifles, SMGs, and LMGs. By the way, you can do all of these things like in shipment. And then we've also got, let me see what I've covered. So you got the normal kills, of course, headshots come naturally, crouch kills done, hip fire kills done. You've also got the long shots as well. Shipment, you can't really do that. You can't really do it on shipment. You can just I don't even think you can get the SMGs done on shipment. If you do, it's like extremely forced and you won't be able to do it very quick. You probably want to do that on ground war just because there's so many long lines of sights and there's a lot of people as well to kill. But yeah, then you've also got the mounted kills as well i would assume that you don't really need help with the you know getting kills with all attachments because it's not that difficult at all that will come naturally the no attachments you don't really need help with either and the three kills without dying i mean self-explanatory really but quickly before i do hop into another game i want to show you some spots on the two ground war maps as well that you can get not only mount kills but you can get long shots you can you can get all the challenges done for all of those weapons like really really easily i remember i was going for damascus and a lot of people would complain that i'd be sitting in these spots but it's because i was doing the challenges as fast as possible before shipment was a thing by the way shipment is now the fastest way to get these camo challenges done because the kills come so quickly but if you want to play ground war there's other ways you can do it of course on quarry would be that little room that everyone calls brad's room because i would camp in there like all game and still drop nukes even though i'm going for camos i would sit in there because in the middle of the map in between b and d and also c as well it's right next to c builders so anywhere they're spawning they're gonna be spawning near you they can spawn mid map they can spawn on the flags they're gonna be coming past you at some point so it's easy to get killed not only that there's windows you can mount on there's spawns that you can literally see that get long shots you can crouch at the windows and get your crouch kills it's just so many ways that you can get those challenges done in that room to where like there's no point moving out of it if you're just strictly going for camos you know people call it camping and all different stuff but it's in the middle of the map in between all the flags so it's pr a pretty a high profile area then you've got Anya palace which is by them boxes where you're head glitch and watching d building you can also see b as well you can sit there because it's a sick head glitch it's difficult for you to get killed but you can get the mount kills you can get you can't get the crouch kills but you can get the long shots as well and finally the only other one that you should be having issues with is the stripes camo which is getting killed shortly after reloading although this isn't that difficult the only tip i'll give you guys for this is putting the perk sleight of hand on that just makes you reload just that little bit quicker which means and literally as soon as i spawn or i don't know when i think i'm near someone i'm just tapping one bullet reloading at all times and then just killing someone if i see it shipment will be extremely easy for that because you're always seeing people the headshots they will just come naturally man i didn't feel the need to play hardcore but if you do want to you can play shipment hardcore as well but just because they all happen naturally you die pretty quick in this game anyway so if you just aim for the head if you need like a few more after completing all the other challenges you'll pretty much get them done all right we're on shotguns now honestly i feel like this might be the easiest one out of all of them to be honest just because like you've got shipment you guys have got shipment you know how easy it is to do the challenges now you've got shipment man bro it's insane it's actually insane how easy it is for you guys that have got shipment man because now you can just get those kills easy you get the challenges done easy all you need to do is just run around for me. That's all you need to do. I don't even need to tell you how to focus on certain challenges because I don't think there's anything difficult to do. You know, the shortly after reloading kills, that might be difficult for people that didn't play shipment. Now, flipping the most simple thing ever. All you need to do is just get killed. Eventually, you'll get to that point where you've got to reload and then you've got to get a kill like shortly after, like really soon after. But you don't really need to force it on this map it just kind of happens so yeah man i don't think there's anything uh that i need to talk about in terms of shotguns like look how broken this is man 
I'm running around with a shotgun. Just do... Do you see what I mean? Get them out of the way, man. Like, they're so easy on this map. You just need to play a few games, and you probably have each shotgun done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now we're on the marks for rifles and sniper rifles. Now, this is a bit of an interesting one, just because it really depends on your level and how confident you are. Because me now, with shipment being available, I would just go straight onto shipment. Honestly, just because I can run around and get as many kills I, what the flip? I could just get as many kills as I want. Like, literally just sprinting around with the marksman rifles and, uh... And, uh, snipers. Look, you see how easy it is, man? Like, literally, why would you not play shipment, in my opinion? <laughs> it's just actually insane. You can sprint around and just get crazy amounts of kills. And you're getting your one-shots out of the way. You're getting your, uh... I don't, I don't know. Just everything. Like, there's no reason for me to not play shipment. Okay, that's an enemy. I didn't even clock. And he just spawned right next to me. Love that. Yeah, man, but honestly, we're talking about, like, the fastest ways possible, innit? So, I would say, just hop in to some shipment. <laughs> and just get it done here, man. Just get it done here. It's just so simple. I don't know if there's any challenges that you need to focus on. Uh, that might cause some issues. Maybe the mount kills. Mount kills and long shots just hop into a uh, ground wall. Like, it's literally impossible for you to get long shots on this map uh, with a sniper or with a marksman rifle. So, probably just want to hop into ground wall for that and use the spots that I described for the uh, mount kills and uh, all those challenges like behind the boxes on Andy Palace and in that room on Quarry. In terms of just leveling the weapon up and getting like the normal ones done, just hop into shipment. You will get them done easy. Double kills will happen really quick. Watch me get a double kill right now. Double kill. Easy. Triple kill. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's mad easy. So easy. <laughs> oh, yo, I was about to go crazy. Bro, oh my days, it's easy. But yeah, man, after having that fun, yeah, just just play shipment, man. Just play shipment, get him done. And those challenges that you have left, just maybe hop into ground one, maybe the mount kills and stuff like that. But you can get those done in this one. You can mount behind that wall that I told you about. Just all pretty, like the wall that he's behind right there. You can mount on that and just get a lot of kills easy. It's pretty simple. Snipers might be a little bit more difficult for you to do just because, I don't know, you've got to have a sniper scope on. You can't really put iron sights on it. I don't think so for any of the snipers. Like for the master rifles, it's a bit different. You can turn them pretty much into like ARs. But for anything else, yeah, I can understand... Snipers, I can maybe understand your difficulty, but yeah, shipments still work. Oh my god, bro. I'm nasty. Oh my day. Yeah, yeah. So now we've got the right shield and knife. And honestly, I switch up my clashes a little bit for these. I usually put on like double time. I might put a, uh, what else? Tracker as well. Just so, I don't know. It's a little bit easier. I know where people are and stuff like that. I'll put on maybe a throwing knife instead. Just have a little bit of fun. But for these ones, I actually want to talk about them rather than playing too much. I might show some gameplay. These ones were extremely annoying for me, but they didn't take too long. Like for the right shield, once you get that to max, which is the school's camo, once you get it to max, level uh level 31 it's basically done like you'll have most of these challenges pretty much complete apart from maybe some crouch kills execute finishing moves you don't actually have to do that i think it's bugged you just get them anyway uh buzz kills you won't really need to focus on those you'll have them done once you get to max level kill enemies near smoke i don't think you actually have to be near smoke it's just kind of bugged you'll get those done easily two kills without dying just kind of happens dead silence kills you don't actually need to have dead silence like activate you just need to have it as one of your field upgrades that's all you need to do so you'll have that done pretty easy kills from behind kind of happen naturally as well the only ones you need to focus on really are the kills whilst injured for those of you guys saw me do it with the knife and you might have seen me do it with the right shield just a little bit but you want to hop into shipment hardcore shipment or just hardcore anything put on the thermite grenade and you want to throw it down in hardcore run into it and get a kill now i was confused by this as well but you get extremely one shot when you run into your own thermite grenade in hardcore you don't actually regen your screen goes back to normal but now nah, you still one shot you just gotta keep throwing that thermite down and run into it and then try to get kills it doesn't take too long you don't really need that many 
many and this is for the right shield and the knife by the way you, you only need 50 which doesn't it's not that difficult on shipment especially and if you don't know you can filter hardcore shipment by going into the filter right here pressing square and then you've got shoot house and shipment right here that you can just filter to you can do it on shoot house as well but i think shipment's easier just because the kills are easy to get i'm only saying hop into hardcore for the you know kills whilst injured the rest of them i would be in core especially for the knife just because you don't want to put yourself at a disadvantage but the right shield though i, I wouldn't want to play hardcore just because you can get like easy shots into you right it might help especially with shipment now in my opinion i would stick to core just because i don't know you've got a lot more bullets that you can take but also the free kill streak like in hardcore it would just come down to looks like no one getting a bullet in you especially with the spawn like you like once you get it to max and you'll have most of these camos done anyway you'll kind of of that point figured out like, how to play and how to like sprint at people like the timing and stuff like that you kind of gotta wait for him to be reloading and he sprint at him go all out i feel like that's really all i can say with those man they are really easy to do they're really not that difficult you just gotta spend time i don't know getting it to max level if you have double weapon xp easy done three kills whilst dying you just gotta persevere man <laughs> you really just gotta persevere maybe going into ground war might help just because you got more space to breathe so yeah for the right should i personally say just hop into shipment get it to max level and you'll pretty much have everything done and then focus on the ones that you need to focus on which will most likely be the injured kills and then like i said hop into a hardcore shipment then throw your thermite down run into that become one shot and then try and kill people as as much as you can it won't be that difficult trust me the knife the challenges are exactly the same but it's a lot easier because it's a one hit in core as well so you've you not only got the health on your side but you're just one shotting people shipment all day i got that done in less than an hour just sprint around bro just sprint around you're getting the three kills without dying pretty easily if you catch them off guard in the spawn like because they spawn anywhere <laughs> now we're on the pistols my bad for not like actually playing with a right shield or knife i just feel like it was one that they kind of needed focusing on so it was only best for me to actually speak about it rather than playing so i wanted to focus on it but pistols i would personally say hop into i did them in hardcore i had the uh at the time it was the hardcore shoot house playlist so it was really easy just to get that map of course nice small map and then getting hardcore kills is not that difficult especially with a pistol the reason why people hop into hardcore with a pistol is just because you can pull up your weapon really really quick and it's a one shot too for the most part so yeah it's not that uh difficult to get done at all those challenges are pretty similar to like the ar smgs all of those uh, apart from the mount kills you don't actually have to mount with a pistol so yeah honestly just run around on shipment hardcore man with a pistol and you will be set i'm in core right now loki i kind of meant to hop into hardcore but look like the shotgun pistol pretty easy desert eagle pretty easy all of them are pretty easy to be fair and i actually had fun doing the pistols that's how easy they were like you can see like you might not always go positive like and that's what i want people to know even though you're getting the camels quick that doesn't mean you know you're playing insanely well throughout the entire game you know you're gonna have a lot of death your kd is gonna go down there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of negatives to this a lot of negatives to trying to get the camels as fast as possible trust me on that like, you could sit at the back of one corner f uh, floats over it and i could get a, a long shot there you know you can actually get the long shot done on shipment as well which makes it even crazier shipment really takes away all your worries man and that's why i said at the beginning of the video it's like bro if you're starting to go for damascus now you're gonna have it a lot quicker than someone who started like me to what well started like me before the shipment playlist because this map is just broken for camos absolutely absolutely broken it's way too easy to get the camos done like look at me i'm just running around man i'm just running around and these camo challenges would be getting done <laughs> Finally, we've got the launches. Now, honestly, I'm going to whip out the Joker just because I feel like that's one that people will, uh, I don't know, struggle with the most. Honestly, for me, it was extremely easy and especially with shipment shipment changes everything i'm telling you quickly just as a tip my focus with the launches was to get into max level first so i have them completely done so i can focus on the challenges at that point and then what i do is focus on the woodland and the digital camos which is defender and attacker award the reason why i'm using the javelin is just because that's the most difficult one to do and also say if you have any double weapon xp tokens i would save them for the launches right shield and knife more so the launches though definitely all right so this is the most annoying one here so you could actually do this on shipment but what i would do look it's Never mind. It's time consuming. Trust me. It, it actually doesn't take as long as you might think of. Especially with before shipment, it was terrible. People would have to hop on like just some next like ground war and stuff. But nah, you don't actually have to do that. You can play shipment. You just have to be right at the back of the map and focusing on like the wall opposite you. You can actually still get your shot off, which is kind of mad to me. When you're doing your objective kills, you want to be playing like domination and stuff like that. I just can't find it right now. But you just want to spawn and fire it, bro. Because most of the time, you'll end up spawning on the opposite side. Look. I might get a kill here. See, look, double kill, easy. They're gonna end up spawning at the side you're firing at eventually. I'll probably get another one here as well. Look, see, it's easy. And especially with double weapon XP as well. Like, it's pretty much like you just keep firing it every time you spawn and 
it will just happen. You'll get kills eventually. Sometimes you'll spawn into your own uh, javelin, but it doesn't really matter. Just keep spawning up. Fire your javelin. That's all you need to do. That's all I kept doing to get Damascus, bro. <laughs> you just fire the javelin up in the air and just hope. Hope they spawn. Hear your javelin shot. Yeah, like I said, just keep spawning up. Okay, that's a bit weird. Just keep spawning up. Fire your javelin. A lot of the time, you won't. Okay, we got the shot off. That might get a kill. Because <laughs> we don't expect it. A lot of the time you won't get your shot off, but a lot of the time you will. And you'll get... You see what I mean? You see what I mean? It's just that easy. Quad feed like that. <laughs> I'm telling you. This is where you need to be to get these tips on how to get Damascus, man. I'm telling you. You come down. Bang. That time it didn't get a kill. It's different when it's domination because there's a flag here. There's a flag in the middle, of course, B. And then there's a flag here as well. So a lot of the time when you're firing at each of the corners, there'll be a flag you're firing at. Like if it's their flag, you can get your attacker kills done. If it's our flag, you can get your defender kills done. It's, it, bro, it's actually a lot easier than you might think. Once you've got those done, you'll quit the game. Or like, I don't know, once the game finishes and stuff like that. And then you'll go into ground war. Then literally all you do is just sit at the back of the map and just wait for UAVs. You wait for count UAVs. You wait for all that different stuff. Actually, right now, I don't know if this is a limited time mode, but drop zones in the game where people, you know, get care packages from being on a hard point and then call in whatever streak. That's probably the best place to do it, right? Right now to get all the streak ones done once you've got let me let me show you guys real quick man once you've got these two done the woodland and digital done in shipment you hop into ground war and then just destroy streaks or you hop into drop zone if that's still there the difficult one is obviously the joker to get it all the way leveled up and stuff like that because it's a little bit annoying with the distance and like how high it has to go up for it to come down it's just weird it's different but then the difficult ones are the strella and the rpg and i'm telling you right now yeah i did not get any uav destroyers with the strella none of it none with the rpg i did it's a little bit easier but with the strella it has some like weird arc to it you just want to destroy like uh personal uavs you want to destroy count uavs and stuff like that that's all you really need to destroy of course you destroy like harriers vtols all that different stuff when they come up but the best ones to destroy are the personal uavs because they don't only count for they don't only count for like your kill streaks and vehicles or your what's it called where are they at destroy kill streaks they count for those two they count for support kill streak it's mad how many challenges the personal uav count for but it also counts for destroy ground based vehicles or kill streaks i don't know why it counts for that but it does so take advantage of that if you see a personal uav take those out and they're pretty easy to hit as well even with the arc on there the rpg is a little bit random at times but you know you can get used to it and still destroy like uavs personal radars all that different stuff the main thing for me to describe to you guys was just how to get the joker done and like pretty much you just follow the same thing with all the rest of the launches of course leveling up the launches in shipment will be extremely easy because you can just run around with a launch and get kills it's kind of annoying for the other team to be fair you're gonna get a lot of kills and of course the attacker defender awards will be easy with the other launches apart from the joker but you know following what i just did right there especially on domination and hard point extremely easy it's mighty easy to do and that's pretty much it that's how i got all of these challenges done a lot of people would say you know use a launch energy secondary to get that done from the start but honestly it didn't really help me too much because i wasn't really focusing on destroy destroying streak especially when you're going for it as fast as possible and you're playing shipment you're using your primary weapon do you know what i mean so you're not really focusing on switching out and then taking out a uav or something like that but i would say that's it i don't think i miss anything the best tips i would say like would be especially with the field order as well putting the wall on so you can get the mount kills on whatever map you want in whatever position and yeah man i'm pretty sure that's it but make sure you guys do drop a like on this video i would appreciate it please let me know in the comments down below if this did help you out i really reckon it did to be honest because that's exactly what i need to get as fast as possible especially with shipment being in the game and drop zone being in the game right now this is your prime time to get the maskers or at least make some progress on it because shipment is broken for camels bro i'm telling you it's insane it's mad how fast you can get camels so if you forget about your kd forget about your stats all of that you are getting the camels insanely quick but basically my main point at the end of this just play shipment man play shipment it's so easy